Hey everybody, welcome back to Greedfall. Time to talk to Constantine, who no doubt is going to have his sickness pretty progressed. I don't know how it could get worse than it was. Uh, at least he's got some remedies for pain, but ultimately no cure still. And while it feels like we're on the right track, you want, what the? Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then all of a sudden one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. What Your the hell is going is on here? nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me. What is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams. From men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound. Grinding, like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. So, wait. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. About to grind some gears here. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. What? By islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you asked me, sir. <laughs> I was ordered to set okay. up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here. Yeah, why didn't you investigate? Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. Because you're doing- you're just assuming! I'm still deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. God. But that's a question for your superiors. Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No. Not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islanders said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided it's to follow the It's gotta be some type of healing thing. His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness. But that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their council. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. Jesus. H. Like, what? <laughs> Hold on. Find Constant in the escort's camp. Question Deirdre, Yulan, or Dunkus, the clan leaders. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna... We're looking for Constantine, obviously. So that's what came up prior. Where... Uh, we need to try to find the, a high king. We need to talk to all these guys. But this seems like it might be just a little bit more important right now.
So let's go find him. I kind of want to say, like, oh, they should have told us. But by the same token, like, Constantin is the main dude, you know? Wait. Oh, I don't have any junk. That's why. He doesn't have to report to me. It would have been nice. Just saying, hey, uh, just so you know, we are, uh, we're going somewhere. He probably knows we would have been like, that's a terrible idea. Oh, and of course. Whoa! Careful. Wait, which sword do I have right now? Tin's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. There we go. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws. Whoa. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Beasts got Some them. Of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. Yep. By beasts? That's what the claws would indicate. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise. And there were animals on these Oh. Sails. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies, and no sign of Constantine or Katasak's presence here. Perhaps they were in another place, and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. Cave of Knowledge? This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really Look, a place what of the a hell? cult. Uh, but rather a place of... Uh, anchoring. What do you mean anchoring? A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps. Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. There's Crater. stuff here. Without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. Well, thankfully. This blade is a native ritual knife. And this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual. Looks like more than a potion to me. Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms. Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. I'm just worried Perhaps that performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. If this was the case, how did people know they were out here first? And second, what if Katasak's I'm just throwing it out there. I don't think this is the case, but what if he orchestrated this? He was close to Constantine if they really wanted to do something Four about tracks. it. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Holy sh what the frick is going on here? Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. What, what gives you that impression that These they were exposed to immense heat? 
Whatever did these men come up against? Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. What in the actual? More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. Maybe it wasn't them. These poor soldiers were torn to pieces. Animals again, or something else. I'm guessing that we're questioning that means it's the latter. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives? There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. Professor Sir, oh god. The natives have told us about a giant creature who reigned over the heights. And the statue we found could be a depiction of it. It's a large winged beast. It seems agile and capable of flying, but its body seems fragile and unprotected. Of course, it's only a depiction. We'll have to see one ourselves to confirm these observations. The path stops on this overhang. And despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasach. Oh ho! Oh, this guy, wow. rocks were broken as if they had taken cannon fire what could have happened here i highly doubt this is potions I don't maybe the beast from those been. notes still more unknown soldiers could they have been responsible for the attack this one is carrying a letter let's see according to this note this troop came from an outpost at the bridge alliance close by ah, jesus a patrol no doubt could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. Afra? My beloved, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. <laughs> okay. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. Hmm. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Very well, let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. She's talking to me or Afra? Unless oh, he me. himself was behind it. Yeah, see? He is a what? powerful Gad. The beasts obey him. I do not How want that to be real. think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. Oh With my god, is captive, this for real? He now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, we are I so must on the find same page. We could return to Wen Xavier 
to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglundai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. And you think that they would have taken Constantine? Is that possible? Maybe he was in need of treatment. But if you suspect them to have participated in the combat to capture him, I think you're wasting your time. I know the captain of that outpost. Huh. A pessimistic man who would never order an attack without being absolutely certain of total victory without losses. Perhaps. Unless he was simply obeying orders. It does belong to the coin guard, after all. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. I've officially become one with the Sarde. Look at this. Okay. Okay. It's pretty convenient that uh, Afra's with us here, actually, now that maybe the Bridge Alliance is involved. What's our fastest way out of here? We have something over on this side, a camp, and then we... Okay, let's hit this camp, and then we'll travel through that location. Probably the nearest anyway. Actually, we can just, tra <laughs> we can just travel from the camp. It's going to be super efficient. See, I, and I don't know if it's like now I just kind of have this... Um, I just, I'm kind of thinking the worst of everybody. I'm like, well, this is possible. We've seen some shit. And there's more ass that we could see. Holy moly. That'll do. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think he like buffs all of his buddies. They all have red eyes. I don't know if they've always had that. have to break down some stuff soon. I can feel it weighing on me. Like an activity that I don't want to do, but I need to address. Mentally. And physically, because my vigor's low. I could be out here picking plants for days. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to break down a couple of things here. These can go... I'm thinking of maybe keeping... One of these? Ah, eh, I don't think we need it. Okay, better. Investigate in the alliance. Hold on a second. Question Aiden and Wen Chevier and investigate in the alliance's outpost. Okay, so we can do both. Uh, the alliance's outpost is here, though. So I wonder if we can do both. Also, what's up here? There's got to be something. If anything, it'll be a nice view for us to admire for seconds before we feel guilty about not pursuing Constantine's 
situation. Oh, there is something. Lockpick! Oh, well, I can solve that. Whoa, hi there. Great honor, dual flamberge. Okay, we got, we're going to get these long blades soon, actually. Although this one, I don't know if it's a huge improvement. Let's do this. Let's go talk to the Bridge Alliance outpost. See what's up. Obviously, we'll keep Afra. have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Correct. Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantine Dorsey. The island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this <laughs> rat hole? Well... My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all They must died, have heard something. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I'm just asking. I hope this is a joke. Just asking we've questions. Had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the Frick. few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely See. haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. Oh boy. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, <laughs> signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. Lights? But I was hoping. And you didn't go and see for yourself. You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? Captain, my name is Afra. you might remember me. Lay it on him, Aphra. I passed by this outpost with my fellow scholars. The Lost Expedition. Yes, I remember. His Excellency was able to... extract us from the situation we found ourselves in. His Excellency has powers that I do not possess. I'm casting no stones at you. You are isolated and without resources. And understandably a bit angry. You have the feeling that the powerful of this world have abandoned you, and you want to make them pay. But a life hangs in the balance. We must save him. <sighs> you were right. I will tell you everything I know. Thank God. <sighs> One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed, unconscious, two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. Let's go see him, then. are extremely serious. He's just 
refusing to die. Good. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? Concerning the young man that survived. Did you see the nurse? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> really? I thought that your cousin's life hung in the balance. Okay. This boy will not survive long if someone doesn't help him. Anything else? No, no, no. We got it. We got it. I need to be going. I would see? very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. The challenge here, too, is we actually have um, the least positive reputation with this faction. And so Afra might be saving our ass there. Travelers beware. Bandits have been spotted roaming around the water source to the west. Their camp is certainly in vicinity, so we advise you to steer clear of this region unless you're heavily armed. Whoever can neutralize this threat shall be rewarded. And one of our scouts did not return from a surveillance mission in the forest north of the region. He's attempting to locate a rebel native camp. The scout comes from a good family and they offered a reward for information. These contracts, as we've kind of talked about, uh... I don't think they're that useful for us, to be honest. What are you doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier? No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Just hope we can make it. Sovereign Potion. Okay, let's, uh, let's science here. And hopefully, it's high enough. Sovereign Potion against Burns. Oh, level one. Easy. Were you able to concoct the potion against Burns? Yeah, I've got it. Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. We must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. Jesus. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. I'm going to sleep outside. I'm not going far. We could go and do some of those um, contracts or what have you, but I think it's pointless. They said that there was... One of the contracts was to the south or something? Like, I feel like it would have been this dismantled camp area anyway. Daytime plus one. Dusk, I guess. 
Okay, let's motor. I wonder if, well, with travel time, it would have taken a long, t a long while anyway. But I wonder if we could have went and talked to um, the other group first, or while we're waiting for this. Either way, one one thing at a time. It's been working out okay for us. up hello soldier how are you doing better a lot better are you the one who saved me the nurse told me i simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make nothing more could you tell me what happened during the attack i will try they're not really memories i'm fond to bring back a lot of my friends died up there we were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seem completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took what the second man. Big, like... There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I, I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching. Uh, rebels. I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I, I got up with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. <laughs> and you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Mm. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. I get that, like... Oh, okay, yeah, so look at that. It was either one. I'm actually okay with the fact that we came here, even though questioning and... And Chevier may go smoother. At the end of the day, it's not a bad thing to build a decent reputation with these guys as well. 